So I'm back from getting my hair cut, but unfortunately got some bad news. Our fearless leader, Tim, has come off his dirt scooter over the weekend, trying to do an ice cream whip or a knack knack or whatever he does, and he's busted a few ribs. So he's out of action for a week or two. Now, while Izzy at home getting a sponge bath off his mum, the Mitz crew has been as busy as ever, turned out this absolute stunner of a 79. I can see a trend forming with these 79s, and that is that bigger is better. Now, this has been over to the boys at Hunter Valley TJM for the royal treatment, and then come to us for a train canopy package. This cruiser's got a 300mm chassis extension, so we've done something a little bit different. Our tray's been fitted with the most popular accessories, like the 900 tapered rear boxes, flared mud guards, and a 900 trundle. And thanks to the 300mm extension, we've been able to squeeze a front box in as well, and also a 145 litre poly water tank underneath. This tray and canopy is 2100 wide, 1870 long, and a whopping 1100 high. And you'll notice the tray's been fabricated without a headboard, and this is to maximise space inside the canopy. Internally, we've got a 700 drawing table combo, some overhead shelving, and how good is this? His and her fridges. Now, I've got a rare opportunity to talk to the client. We've got Michael here. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Times of COVID, mate. That's it. our distance, so. So, why have you gone so big? During this build, it was a non-compromise build, basically, and um, there were certain aspects that we needed. Um, we were specific in having angle fridge freezers, so we've got a 100 litre fridge, and a 100 litre fridge freezer. We also wanted the pantry and drawer set up as well. That's it. The height of the unit, we were all about volumes, not so much as weight carrying capacity in the back of this. And uh, Louise and I both have uh, electric uh, mountain bikes. Awesome. And uh, the, the back side of, uh, on the driver's side is actually um, to get both them bikes inside the canopy and yep. um, keep it all contained within the unit. So. Awesome. So I guess you're pretty keen to get out and have a go. Go definitely, take this out. Definitely, this afternoon we'll be getting away um, a weight done on it again with uh, with safe weight. At, uh, Troy will be conducting that, and uh, we'll be straight home to get it packed. And uh, we're off to the Watkins this off weekend. You go. So uh, this is the cleanest you're probably going to see it for a while. <laughs> Unreal. So, That's uh, how we like it. So Michael, day has come for you to take your wheels away. What do you reckon? Have the Mitz boys nailed it for you, or what? Most definitely, Jacko. I think, uh, given the brief that we had in the start, um, I think the guys and Tim were super accommodating both in the design, the fit, finish, quality, the powder coating, it's uh, its turned out superb and uh, we can't be happier. So, um, mate, that's awesome, onward and mate. upwards. And I would suggest to anyone that's after a uh, either a new or an old vehicle and they want to put a new tray and uh, canopy on the back, by all means, uh, come and see the guys at Mitz Alloy. For Beautiful. Sure. Well, I think you're definitely going to be the envy of every 79 owner. This thing has not missed any treatment at all. It's flash no, as. I think we've ended up with a very, very good unit here. We've got to get out now and use that's it. Yeah, so, get out there and use it. So if you're dreaming of building the ultimate tuner rig just like this, come and see some Mint Alloy.